Um, so this is Starstruck, the story of Neil deGrasse Tyson, and it's a really good book. It's about his his journey to becoming an accomplished astronomer, and you probably know about him. But it has really nice illustrations, um, and just goes through his journey to it to what happens. So I heard that he talked a lot in class and got in trouble. Is that true? Um, it doesn't really say that in here. I actually read that, but that uh, he did all his papers on sh on astronomy, and, oh, yeah. and in sixth grade. So then a teacher sent him to sent a him class, to a class about astronomy, and then he would later teach there when he was around forty, and that's the class where he disproved that Pluto was a planet. He got a lot of hate for that. Yeah. Which is kind of stupid. I think that's dumb. And what do you think but about... Not, not that Pluto is a planet. I don't think it's a planet. I think it's dumb that he got hate for saying that, even though it's true. And what do you think about him being an African-American scientist? How did that affect him? Um, it hindered him, definitely. Especially, like, since he grew up, like, long... He grew up... In the Bronx? Yeah, and like, before. But, um, he still overcame it to become super successful. And yeah. he, loves, he loves what he does. And it, it seems like he made a point to be visible so that he could be a role model for African American children, but just any children of color. Because maybe, I mean, I have you seen, you know, famous scientists that are of color before? Or is he the only one that you kind of follow on YouTube? Um, yeah, not really. There's no light. I can't really think of a notable one. Can you think of an Asian one? No, right? Not really. I'm sure there are a like, bunch of successful ones. Ooh. Oh, that's my carnivorous plant. And I also think it's it was interesting that he was really well-rounded. Like, he's a really good dancer. Oh, yeah. He was a wrestler. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did he do? Um, he he walked dogs. He, uh, yeah, he was good at he walked dogs in order to raise money to buy his mm -hmm. more expensive telescope. Mm -hmm. um, but he was sort of like a well-rounded, interesting person um, as well. He just had this passion, I think, right? For yeah, he was a good public speaker. And I think it was really cool how, like, at such a young age, I think it, he was 14, he went out on, like, a, like with a team of scientists to go like gay to go study the stars yeah that was That's that really was a great cool. opportunity yeah. i think people recognized how serious he was mm -hmm. when he was really young but i think the thing that, that that maybe reason why you like him is that he can talk about science in a way that everyone can understand i and i feel like he gets people excited mm -hmm. about science so wh what did, what have you learned from him just from other shows or what what makes you a big fan of his like oh, work. um, I learned that the three most, um, like, the three top elements in the universe are, like, the three top elements in our bodies. It was do like... You, do you know what those elements are? Um, I think it was nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen. Oh. I think that was really cool. It was just, like, something... Because they say we're all made of stars. Yeah. And that kind of, I guess, proves it. Mm -hmm. And um, are you going to share your artwork of Neil de Tyson Bison? Oh, I don't have that. I think Zoe has that. Oh, okay. And so how would you rate this book? Um, I would give it a 4.8 out of 5. And who do you recommend it for? What ages? I recommend it for, I guess, like 8 and up. Or maybe, maybe younger. So like seven or eight enough? Yeah. Because like kids my age can read it and it's like something cool and you can see how he, what he did and how he followed his passion at a young age and it's kind of inspiring. But then like adults can read it and just like learn about his story and learn about what like, all he overcame to get to where he is now. And you're 13 in eighth grade. Yes. And you recommend it. And do you think picture books are for everybody? Um, yeah. 
All right, thank you.